break, a look at how COVID-19 is changing livelihoods, relying on a common warm weather site, food trucks. Uh, the owner of a truck in Hamilton County, for instance, says all the events he had planned are now canceled because of the pandemic. News 8's Katie Wisely joins us live in Carmel. Uh, that uh, truck owner is now taking a part-time job to make ends meet, Katie? Good morning. That's exactly right. Christopher Lawson works here behind me at the Fazoli's in Carmel 30 hours a week just to have some steady income now that his food truck isn't operational during this pandemic. Now, he says that the food truck business is a lot more profitable than maybe working here at Fazoli's, but he says that working here is essential to have that guaranteed paycheck for his family. Now, he came up with the idea last fall of his food truck named Custard Dogs. He had six major events scheduled for the year, which he says brings Brings in about $1,000 to $2,500 per event. Plus, he says he parks outside 502 East Event Center here in Carmel when the weather is nice. But he says there's not enough people out right now to keep his doors open. It doesn't really help too much uh, having so much uh, shut down. So if we go park someplace, there's no foot traffic, no place. So you're just wasting revenue and time sitting in a place and preparing the food. and then you have no business, then uh, you're, you're kind of stuck at that point. Indy Food Truck Alliance says some events are canceled permanently or have an altered date. Founder Lisa Moyer says weddings have been postponed from summer to fall and most corporate events have been canceled altogether because budgets have changed. The group is made up of 18 food trucks and normally are at the State House Market every Thursday starting the first week of May, but that's been postponed until June. Plus, the first Friday Food Truck Festival has not yet announced any start date. Their focus right now is getting permission from residents and HOAs in neighborhoods to park and sell from their trucks. Now, most food truck owners are really waiting for some sort of sign from Governor Holcomb or from the state to hear if or when those events will be open and really to see if they can get any more of that income and not have to work at these part-time jobs here and Fazoli's like Christopher Lawson. Back to you. Katie Wisely, thank you. Six 